Hello again to everyone. How are you? I hope that you and your family are safe and healthy. This is again Doc Cherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. How well do you know your vitamin C? Vitamin C is one of the most consumed supplement worldwide. Do you know that humans, primates, and guinea pigs are the only ones not able to produce their own vitamin C? Do you know that vitamin C only stays within your body for 24 hours? Because of this, there is a need for you to supplement vitamin C if you think your diet is deficient with this important vitamin. I often hear that my patients would tell me that they have trouble supplementing with vitamin C because of hyperacidity. But we have a solution for that. In this video, you will learn the two most common forms of vitamin C to help you decide which one is really best for you. If you're new here to my channel, please click the subscribe and the bell button below so you will be updated with my weekly uploads on different health topics and specific home exercise programs that will benefit you and your family. Also, please feel free to type in Dr. Sherry in YouTube where you can access my playlist and you can play on my relaxing healing music videos that will promote relaxation and will promote better sleep. With the 2019 novel coronavirus outbreak now spreading across the world and no cure or vaccine yet available, people are seeking ways in which to potentially protect themselves from the virus or to decrease its effects once caught. And the vitamin that is oftentimes out of stock these days is vitamin C. Vitamin C is also known as L-ascorbic acid. It is a water-soluble vitamin, which means that if you take in more than what your body needs, you just excrete it in your urine unlike fat-soluble vitamins like A and D, which are mostly stored in your fat tissues and liver, and are eliminated more slowly. Since your body cannot produce vitamin C on its own, you have to consume it through your diet or with the use of a vitamin C supplement. Vitamin C is best known for its antioxidant properties, protecting your body cells and tissues from damage. Other benefits of vitamin C is to support your immune system. Vitamin C helps to simulate both the production and function of your white blood cells that helps you fight off illness-causing viruses and bacteria. It also helps your body to produce important antibodies that helps you fight off different illnesses. Not only that, vitamin C also helps your body to produce collagen, which is needed for your proper wound healing since we know that any cut in your skin may lead to a possible infection. Do you know that your adrenal gland, which help regulate your immune system, uses a significant amount of vitamin C each time a stress response gets triggered in your body? This may be part of why you are more likely to get a cold when you're stressed. Ascorbic acid and sodium ascorbate are actually the two most common forms of vitamin C sold in different pharmacies. While ascorbic acid is a pure form of vitamin C, sodium ascorbate is a mineral salt of ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is acidic in nature which means that you might experience hyperacidity, especially if you have a sensitive stomach. Sodium ascorbate, on the other hand, which is produced through the combination of ascorbic acid and sodium bicarbonate, is a mild form of vitamin C and is recommended for persons with hyperacidity. You might be wondering if both are just as effective. Even though sodium ascorbate has lesser ascorbic acid content, it is easily absorbed by the body, and the effect of these two forms of vitamin C are almost the same. But one important thing that you should know is that 1,000 mg of sodium ascorbate generally contains 111 mg of sodium, 
and individuals following low-sodium diets such as those with hypertension and are advised to keep their total dietary sodium intake to less than 2,500 mg a day need to be mindful of this since megadose of vitamin C in the form of sodium ascorbate could also increase your sodium intake. But if you are acidic and you are also hypertensive, so long as you keep your vitamin C from sodium ascorbate to 500 mg a day, and as long as you stay away from salty foods, you need not worry. If you have kidney stones, consult with your doctor regarding supplementing with vitamin C, since vitamin C supplementation may further aggravate existing stones. The recommended dietary allowance for men is 90 mg per day. For women, it's 75 mg per day. But you need additional 35 mg of vitamin C if you smoke, since smokers have generally lower levels of vitamin C in their blood as compared to non-smokers. Pregnant women need 85 mg and lactating or breastfeeding moms need 120 mg of vitamin C daily. A mega dose of vitamin C, which is above 2,000 mg, may cause nausea and diarrhea. Aim to take your vitamin C at the same time every day, preferably in the morning, and you should take it after a meal, especially if what you have is ascorbic acid. In a study done on vitamin C and coronavirus last June 2020, it found out that even patients in ICU due to coronavirus perform way better when they receive vitamin C intravenously as compared to those who did not receive vitamin C supplementation. To date, the exact dosage of vitamin C to prevent coronavirus is still being studied, but taking vitamin C regularly is recommended. You need to know though that the best way to provide your body with vitamin C is still consuming it from the food that you eat. Since these fruits and vegetables have their own blend of phytonutrients and phytochemicals which gives you anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties from plants. Most brightly colored fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamin C. Think of your citrus fruits, your bell pepper, broccoli, tomatoes, papaya, kiwi, pineapple, and cantaloupe. The recommended 2-3 to three fruits and 3-5 to five servings of vegetables per day ensure sufficient intake. This is it for this video. I hope that you find this video helpful. So the two most common forms of vitamin C that you can purchase in different pharmacies would be your ascorbic acid and your sodium ascorbate. Both two forms of vitamin C are equally as effective. If you are not acidic, you can take 500 milligrams of ascorbic acid once a day. But if you have hyperacidity, what you can do is supplement with sodium ascorbate. However, if you are hypertensive and you also have hyperacidity, you can do with sodium ascorbate 500 milligrams once a day. And just be always mindful that you do away with salty foods. I hope you like this video. Please give a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. Please share it with your family and friends so that they would be guided with this simple yet very important information. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay healthy and God bless you. Bye!